we would like to give a special thanks to Hasbro for sending us these dolls as a gift to review. Today on Unbox Daily, we are taking a journey back to Agrabah because we've got more Aladdin dolls. Based on the live action film hitting theaters May 24th, 2019. Whoa, that's like right around the corner. You all have seen our review for the single dolls. There were three Princess Jasmines, two Genies, and one Aladdin. But now we have a five doll combo pack. And do I see articulation? And I see new characters like Jafar. This Disney Aladdin Agrabah collection comes with five dolls and accessories and is available at Walmart for $99.99. So you're paying $20 a doll. Aladdin is all dressed up in this collection and it looks like he has real pants. But does he have more articulation? I can't tell by just looking at the box. And I am also very curious to find out if this Jasmine has knees. This set is recommended for ages three and up. On the back of the box, we can see pictures of the actors from the movie, Genie, Aladdin, Princess Jasmine, Dahlia, and Jafar. On the side, it says, Disney Aladdin, the Agrabah Collection. These characters bring the streets of Agrabah to vibrant life in Disney's live-action movie, Aladdin. Let's get these out of the box for a closer look. Out of the box, the genie looks just like the singing genie from the single pack. Only this one has a necklace that is removable and the singing genies is sculpted on. He has an earring that is removable and the basic five points of articulation. Movement at the head, shoulder, the leg can go forward and back at the hip, and his belt is removable. As with the other genies, this one also has sculpted pants. Aladdin, on the other hand, does not. Unlike the single doll, this Aladdin's outfit is made out of cloth. It is all one piece with printed details, a belt, the pants stop right past the knee, and Velcro's in the back. The shoes are removable, and we can remove this too. He has the basic five points of articulation with movement at the head, shoulder, and hip. I was hoping for more, but you know me, I'm crazy about articulation. Jafar has the same articulation as Aladdin. We can remove all of his accessories as well. He's got some pretty cool stitched shoes, a chest piece with gold details, a cape, and a snake scepter. Jafar definitely has a lot of layers going on. I like how all of the clothing can be removed if you want to transfer it to another doll. All of the guys can be balanced to stand. Aladdin and Jafar are about the same height at around 11 and a half inches. The genie is taller and closer to 12. However, the ladies are a little shorter. Jasmine and her bestie Dahlia are a challenge to balance. I'm just going to use a doll stand. They appear to be about the same height at about 11 inches tall. Jasmine is wearing a teal two-piece outfit with colorful peacock designs, printed details, and an attached sheer cape with lots of glitter. She comes with earrings, a necklace, tiara, and teal shoes. Dahlia has a different face sculpt than Jasmine, and she's a warmer skin tone. She has curly hair, wears a gold headpiece with a necklace, a long red and gold dress with large sleeves, gold trim, and gold shoes. We can already see that they have more articulation than the guys, with movement at the head, shoulder, elbow, wrist, and hip. Wait, is there a knee joint? No. 
I was really hoping that they were gonna have that knee joint. But check out that background! This has gotta be a little under three feet long. This will be a great addition to our Aladdin box room! Ha! <laughs> I love it! I get so excited about doll packaging! Overall, I like that this collection came with two characters that we didn't have before. And Aladdin has pants. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at the Agrabah collection. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time for another Unbox Daily. And that's our collection for now.